KFIAM radio host Tim Conway Jr. and his executive producer, Sharon Bellio, have been suspended this week without pay for a skit they performed on May 3 that was filled with Asian American insults and racist stereotypes. The suspensions came after pressure from Guy Aoki, the civil rights leader and founding president of the Media Action Network for Asian Americans. The Los Angeles station's parent company, iHeartMedia, confirmed their suspensions. In the nearly five-minute skit, Conway pretended to interview Yuko Sakamoto, the wife of local radio personality Vic, the Brick, Jacobs, who was impersonated by Bellio in a stereotypical Japanese accent, even though the real Sakamoto does not speak with an accent. During the skit, Bellio shouted numerous variations of Haya, Hiaya, Hiao, and other supposed martial arts noises and sprinkled her put on with the sound of gongs and goofy Zen haikus that were brought to you by Subaru. Ironically, Bellio had been named the station's employee of the month on May 1st, the start of Asian American, Pacific Islander Heritage Month. You can hear the skit here, Conway and Bellio issued on air apologies Friday night, and the station has aired two new public service announcements on the subject of anti-Asian hate crimes and has committed to airing a two-hour special with Aoki focusing on anti-Asian violence and stereotypes. On May 3rd during our show, I did an impression in which I perpetuated stereotypes of Asian Americans, only adding to an already difficult time for many, Bellio said. I want to sincerely apologize for my actions that have offended and hurt listeners and anyone in the Asian American, Pacific Islander community. I am deeply sorry that my failed attempt at humor was insensitive and I feel horrible about that. My words tonight will never convey the shame that I'm feeling because of my actions and I just, I really want to apologize. SAG AFTRA panel explores efforts to combat hate against Asian Americans said Conway, both Sharon and I will be off next week, yep, suspended. We wholeheartedly agreed with that decision and, again, we are both incredibly sorry. We will look forward to returning to the show on Tuesday, June 1st, with a fresh perspective. He added, we believe it's important to take this time to recognize the issue of hate crimes against Asians that have significantly increased over the last few months. In fact, these crimes have doubled in the last month. And over the last year and a half, Asian Americans across this country including in our very own Southland communities, have endured despicable and sickening acts of hate and violence, fearing for their safety and the safety of their families. In their absence, Mark Thompson and Wayne Resnick are filling in for them this week. Aoki, however, didn't think the apologies went far enough.